Bye. So I wanted to try and find the craziest movie I could find and watch it, which meant going on Google and searching craziest movie on Netflix. That didn't really come up with like a lot of results besides a bunch of lists. So I decided to scour those lists and see what movie was recommended, I guess, the most as like one of the craziest. Basically, after looking at about five lists or so, I just kept seeing a couple that have been repeated and one of them was one called Velvet Buzzsaw. As of recording this part of the video, I haven't watched it, but it is apparently described as a satirical, supernatural comedy horror film. So a little bit of everything. The descriptions I've read so far were pretty vague, so I have no idea what I'm going into. I think I'm just gonna go watch it and uh, we'll come back. So I just watched it. It's a completely different day because back when I recorded that first part, I just, I don't know, but I'm here and oh my gosh, this movie. Jake Gyllenhaal was in it and David Diggs, uh, which, you know, we all enjoy some of them sometimes, just not in this movie. When I say I went into this movie completely blind, I really did not expect much besides what I got from the vague description. I'm not saying it was like super crazy. I mean, it was, I guess, but it's not like, oh my gosh. Like, if I'm honest, I don't know what happened in the first half of the movie. So basically it's a film that focuses on the superficial world of fine art. The main character is this art critic, Mort Vandewolf, whose critiques are like, I guess, very valued in that uh, cinematic universe. <laughs> and his friend and short-term lover, Josefina, works for this lady called Redora Hayes, the owner of the Hayes Art Gallery. And Redora Hayes is also a former member of, you guessed it, the band that everybody knows, Velvet Buzzsaw. Yeah, um, she was part of some old punk rock band or something. I don't know. Basically, Josefina finds this dead guy in her apartment who's also an artist. And she learns from like one of the scene cleaners, I guess. I don't know who this guy was. Just some random guy who uh, let her know that the guy who was dead happened to be trying to get rid of all of his artwork. So with this information, why Josefina went into his apartment and stole the pieces of art? So anyway, the dead guy's name is Ventral Dees and the movie basically revolves around the uh, collecting and selling of his artwork that he was desperately trying to get rid of for a reason, I assume. The movie reveals that he has this like super traumatic, abusive upbringing that he, I guess, put into his artwork and somewhere along the line, the artwork became possessed? demonic because of his like childhood trauma that he painted into them they didn't explain why the paintings were like evil and then after that the movie is just pretty much about paintings coming to life and killing people and i have to say some of the deaths were pretty goofy in all the deaths there was some sort of art piece involved that came to life and ended up murdering somebody but just I, I don't know, I just didn't like them. Redora, the owner of the art gallery, she was eaten by like this big metal sphere thing. Jake Gyllenhaal was like murdered by a robot and Miss Velvet Buzzsaw herself literally died by her own tattoo of a buzzsaw on her back coming to life and sawing a gaping hole into her skin, killing her. It's creative, I guess. Just about the only thing I did find interesting about this movie was that they never showed like the actual clients that were buying the art. Like they talk about it, the characters, you know, like they're really trying to like sell these pieces to these super rich buyers, but we never get into any personal details about who exactly is buying this art. The film seems to be really focused on like the business aspect of the art world, which I think is interesting. You don't really see people talking about the business side of fine art. So basically everyone died in the end, 
the paintings were thrown out only to be found and sold again, and the cycle continues. The movie never explained how they were cursed in the first place, why it was killing people. Maybe I missed something, I don't know. It was hard to keep my attention because it was honestly not that interesting. But despite not liking the death scenes, those were the only interesting parts. I know that sounds kind of morbid, but literally nothing else in the movie mattered until someone was dying. So, do I like this movie? Not really. Would I watch it again? Not really. Overall, I'm sure that there are some things that probably flew over my head that someone in an article somewhere is raving about. That person is just not me. <laughs> so, those are my thoughts on Velvet Buzzsaw. Uh, it's on Netflix, so if you want to go watch it yourself, you can. Maybe you'll get something more out of it than I did. Otherwise, I'm done here. Thank you for watching.